So today we're going to install a smart port. Um, all you need is this smart port thingamajigger from Hunter. It's free. And then uh, a T. And then obviously some remotes if you use them. And this, this one just plugs in here. I'll show you later. And then we can remote remotely access the controller, even if it's off. That's a great, great feature. Now, I did do this controller the other day, and I forgot to add one, so we're going to show you how that's done. So, we're going to install this um, probably right about here, so we'll click in here. And then we just need to write down all our wires and what terminals they go to, what colors go to what terminals. Um, don't really need to turn it off because um, that's 24 volts. It might throw a few sparks, but nothing harmful. So when you take this out, um, cut the PVC, throw this in. So here we go. <coughs> I'm just going to cut this to length, make sure we have a little extra. And then it's going to go, the wiring's going to go red, white, blue. Pretty simple, if you remember the color, colors of the flag. Give it a little tug, make sure it's in there good.
All right, now we're gonna test this thing out, make sure it works. Just need to pop off the cover. Plug it on our, our remote. Um, the system can be off or on for the remote to work. Uh, actually, this is kind of interesting. Look at all those guys. Just relaxing. And then we'll just uh, try number two. See what happens. It's on. Why in the? 